Good afternoon, you choosing man all the way, George Page, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, you know, a few years ago, I saw this in the news, and I know everybody else has heard this, that um, that the government has signed in a new holiday, and it is June um, Juneteenth, and this is a great thing, you know. And, you know, if anybody don't know the history of Juneteenth, you know, it is one of considered uh, like the um, black version of 4th of July. You know, uh, as you know, we don't have too many, you know, we have Black History Month in, in February, but this is celebrated in the summer. And that's a, it's a great holiday. It's celebrated more often in some places. Most of the places don't even know it ever existed. They never, never heard of June, um, uh, Juneteenth. Well, I don't know if you where I mentioned it before. And it was a story of how slaves lived in Texas. And, you know, slave, you know, Texas was one of the states in the union up against the United States and they, you know, didn't want to end slavery. And one big difference why the Civil War happened was well not so much as for slavery per se. It was more about uh how they felt that the the um, um northern states the government didn't feel like the the South was putting much more money because hey, they didn't have to pay their their uh, employees. So when the war ended <clears throat> April of uh, 1965, most other states who, like in, especially in the South, already freed most of their slaves. But um, it was it was not till um, July the 19th, 19th of 1865, where slaves are living in Texas found out that they were freshly free, because in Texas they still was um, do, um, growing cotton, so they kept their slaves to pick the cotton, and you know as you know Texas. Uh, is is people keep forgetting Texas is a southern state, even though it's it's more in the Midwest, but it still was part of the the Union, and cotton was very big back then. It, you know, cotton was a lot of money. You know, clothing, everything else from made from cotton. And when people found out they were free, they were happy, or they felt like they wanted to party and they get their freedom. And so, so it became Juneteenth. You know, the day when. All slaves were free, mostly in Texas, you know. And um, like I said, um, just a few days ago, President Joseph R. Biden Jr. signed into a law not, that Juneteenth is now officially a federal holiday. And um, this is a great thing, you know, even though they signed that um, other thing, but I'm not going to talk about it right now because this is more important for us. But this is one little, these small little wins we're getting under this administration. But still, the history of America and slavery, people don't want to put the truth out. As you know, I you know, we still want to be acknowledged of the trip of the contributions that our people, my people, have given to this country. Right now, there's a pushback against the uh Project 619, 1619, which is where as the study of the history of slavery had affected America. People don't want it to be put, put into schools, but, you know, it's part of American history. You know, there's still right now, there's, there's several um, red states, you know, it's like Texas is one of them, most definitely, that are trying to, you are right now, it's changing the voting rights. The same voting um, system that's been working for the last hundred so years, but because of one certain fearless leader has failed, which he would come up. Everybody knew he was going to he wasn't going to be president. That's just a simple fact of it. He was going to lose, so they want to change the laws. Where well, those the same laws and programs that have been working for many years. But black people, we've been standing strong. And then now we still have, you know, we have some justice for George Floyd, but we still have to have um, issues with police brutality and those other victims of police brutality. You know, so you know, like I said, this is the history of America. You know, America is just. You know, there's so much people think it's great it is, but it's not that great. You know, it's 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 imperfect uh, country. You know, and right now we still, as a people, need to get our voices heard in you know in the government, in, in the Congress, in the Senate. We, our voices, our our um our issues matter just as much more than anybody else's, especially we're the ones who built this country. And you know what? It wasn't for that, the people who, the before them, like greats like Malcolm X and Dr. Martin Luther King made way for 
you know, people like Barack Obama, Kamala Harris, and several other politicians, you know, and this is just something we have to do as Americans. You know, I know people saying, well, voting don't matter. It truthfully don't matter, but our voices should matter more than anything. And you, if you saw in the last election, our voices didn't matter because things have changed. Not as, not as great as we wanted to, but a little by little bit. You sometimes take baby steps. But anyway, Saturday is June, is, is, um, June, uh, Juneteenth. So if you got some time, there's probably some parades. Uh, maybe a little, you know, get together. You know, still be careful. You gotta be, you know, it's still, we're still living in COVID. So, you know, hey, social distancing, wear a mask. And it's just a great time for our people. You know, I think maybe it could be better. But you know what? Like I said, it's taking these small steps that um, is getting us there, you know. And just to remember those people before us, you know, those that fought for the right to be acknowledged, those that fought for their freedom. It's just a beautiful thing that this holiday is acknowledgement of that. So if you, like I said, you, depending where you stay at, if you live someplace like, especially Texas, where I remember I saw on um, a commercial, it was saw um, Beyonce's mother, um, Tina, Tina, um, she, her name is Lawson now, no more on the nose, where she talked about how she grew up in Galveston, Texas, and how Juneteenth um, was celebrated by every other year. And she was surprised how, you know, no other, any other places uh, celebrated this holiday. We got to think about it. It's really more of a Texas holiday. But now it's has become American holiday. And for us, American citizens, black American citizens, not going to call us a African American, you know, I'm, I'm a black American citizen. I'm a black American, you know, Africa long since, long since left my, my, uh, my memory. So many others have, but like I said, um, enjoy Juneteenth, you know, celebrate it. Just don't celebrate just because it's a celebrate. Remember, the people before us who struggled, who strived to get this holiday set and respect them, respect this holiday and respect each other. Tell a brother, tell your sister, tell your mother, tell your pa. <laughs> happy Juneteenth. And I'm saying to you again, happy Juneteenth. And God bless us all. This is me on the George page. Like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out.